What do you know about China? Have you ever been to China, or is everything you know about China told to you by Western media organizations? The same media organizations that lied to us about WMDs in Iraq, or about the Libya and Syria wars from 2011 onward, or even about Russian meddling in US elections. And if the Western media was lying to us about all of that, uh, what makes us think that China is the first thing they're telling the truth about? I think I might have found a good way to find the truth, or at least a good first step. So let's get started. I've covered the rise of China for years, as well as the documented strategy by the West to encircle and contain China. It's a strategy that stretches back decades to the so-called Pentagon Papers, leaked in 1971. Special interests in the West, through a lens of centuries of racism and imperialism, truly believe that nations like China cannot and will not be allowed to surpass the West, not economically, not sociopolitically, and certainly not militarily. It is the premise upon which all of the West's current foreign policies towards China is built. This strategy and the associated propaganda war waged against China has led many ordinary people in the West to believe that China is a backwards nation that poses a threat to global peace and stability when many of these Westerners talk about China, it seems they have these sort of scenes playing in their heads of old communist China and the Chinese people as they struggled after decades of war and Western colonization to pull themselves up and develop their nation. For those of us who have been to China recently, we know that China today is not the same China of a hundred years ago. We also know that it is not the China portrayed by the Western corporate media and also by Western politicians. Uh, but how do we show Americans and Europeans and even young people here in Southeast Asia who have never been to China and have never seen positive coverage of China's achievements that this is not how China actually is. If you send these people CGTN documentaries or even alternative media reports, these skeptics are going to claim that it's all just propaganda, that it's token streets and districts dressed up to make China look developed and civilized. Uh, but there's actually a whole section of YouTube with videos with no music, except maybe a little intro in the beginning, and no commentary of someone just taking a 4K camera and, and just walking around all of China's different cities and towns. And each video can be an hour long or even longer of just continuous walking, no editing, no cuts, just walking around. So you're really going to travel around in these places without ever having to go there. And you can see for yourself how people are living and working and traveling and playing in China. You can see for yourself that it's not a civilization under gunpoint, trudging around, covered in suit, on their way to toil in communist factories or slave away in communal farms you see Chinese people living with a quality of life equal and in some ways greater than you'll find in many places in the United States or even Europe at this point. In fact, it's impossible to watch these videos and then listen to Western propaganda about China and not begin to feel just a, a little insulted by the lies you've been fed all this time. And also, maybe you'll start to begin asking questions about why they're lying to you. Because yes, the US and Europe and also Australia and, and many others are lying about China across their corporate media networks in a bid to encircle and contain the country. This is true, but it might also be possible that they're trying to control information uh, uh, from people in the West, preventing them from seeing just how well Chinese people actually live and how much they have and in terms of comforts and infrastructure, uh, all versus the crumbling state of the US and the European Union. If there was an honest take on China for all the West to see, people in the West would probably want to know why they can't enjoy this level of development. So please check out these videos, search any Chinese city, 
uh, you type in the name of the Chinese city and then type 4K walk, and you're probably going to find some of these videos. It's not the perfect way to learn about how people really live because nothing beats going there and seeing it for yourself in person, but it is definitely a good first step forward out of this state of ignorance the Western media has put many of us in and toward a better understanding of the world abroad. Two of my favorite channels so far are Gecko Walks and 4K China, but there are many others out there, so uh, go check them out. And then please send these channels and these videos to people who might be poisoned by Western propaganda so they can see what China's really about. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share. Check out the video description for the links to these 4K Walks in China channels. Also in the video description, there are ways you can help support my work, like by becoming a Patreon member or through one-time donations. I do not monetize my videos on YouTube, so if you're seeing YouTube ads on my videos, feel free to skip through through them, and if you don't want to watch any ads at all, go to my Odyssey channel where all of my videos are posted there ad free. I also have a new website, newatlas.report. So please visit it, bookmark it, check it out. All of my videos and articles and other content is going to be there also for absolutely free. Uh, I'm also going to continue posting articles on my old blog, landdestroyer.com blogspot.com. Thank you everyone who has been supporting my work and making this all possible. And as always, thank you for watching.